Hey y'all, what's up? Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is look at G and H today. We're back in our Libro, so no need for the floppy workbook. Okay, um, so go ahead and click on G and H um, and make sure you have your cami open. So here's uh, our assignment for G. It says, using our conversations that we wrote down as guides. When I say conversations, that's our Q's and A's, okay? Because some of them were hefty conversations. Yeah. Um, it says, write out and complete the sentence. You should have six complete sentences written out on your paper. So let's look at this, okay? Um, so it starts out as Ago, and then you choose either Mi Maleta, Las Mora de los Guapos, Mi Jardín, or Las Vacaciones. So you're going to write out Ago, and then you're either going to finish with whatever comes after that. You're going to have a complete sentence. For number numero dos, you're going to have two llevas, and then either un pañuelo, la salud, La sala de clase, or una falda y una blusa. Okay, you're going to do the same with tres. Recuerda llevar el jardín, los guantes, Chile, or Santiago. Okay, um, so these all come from your Q's and A's. So, if you don't have your Q's and A's written down in your cuaderno, you should go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at you guys. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. Then head on over to your resource quadrant now and head up your Quizlet. Okay. Um, if you don't have your Quizlet handy, then, you know, mm -hmm. okay. Because you're not going to be able, like, a lot of these have um, one correct answer and one correct answer only. Now, there are some that have two answers that would technically make sense, but there's one correct answer and one correct answer only, okay? Um, so, because, like, I'm looking at some of these and I'm laughing um, <laughs> because some of them, like, make sense grammatically, but they're nonsense sentences and they just make me laugh. Um <laughs> So, okay, that's G. So um, let's make sure, let's look at our quaderno. So it says, answer the thing, okay? Answer complete sentences. So you should end up with a complete sentence, okay? If you have just an A, a B, a C, or a D, you won't have credit. If you have just a word or the end of a phrase, like if you write down just gorra or viajo pronto a Chile, you're not gonna have your you're not gonna have your credit. Okay, um, so it's got to be a complete sentence. All right, um, and then H 158. Okay, you're gonna read your paragraph, then write out the question and the correct answer for one through four. After, add the green box vocab to your cuaderno. So you should have eight words slash phrases. Okay. So that was, this is for um, G. Here's H. It's not as pretty. Lo siento. It says, um, let's, let me read this to you. It says, Margarita va de vacaciones con su familia. Viaja a Santiago, la capital de Chile. Hace su maleta. Ella lleva solo ropa de invierno, lleva dos pantalones, dos suéteres, un vestido, una falda, una blusa y una chaqueta. Ella ya tiene toda la ropa apropiada para sus vacaciones en Chile. Margarita está contenta. Okay. Here are our four um, spaces. So as you can tell, this is just our, um, what you call it. So we have to have this little guy right here. Um, so here are our um, green box vocab words. Bade vacaciones, goes on vacation. Hace su maleta, she packs her suitcase. Lleva solo, she only brings de invierno of winter. We already know that invierno is winter. Ya means already. Toda or todo um, is um, all. It's, it, it's todo if it's masculine. It's toda if it's feminine. Apropriada 
is um, suitable or appropriate. Um, it's it's a cognate, appropriate. Um, it's also masculine or feminine. And then sus means her. Um, and so then we have our four Qs and As. So um, our instructions say to uh, write out the question and then write out the answer. So you would do, um, ¿Quién va de vacaciones? So you would write out, ¿Quién va de vacaciones? I'll move that. You would either write vacaciones, Santiago, Chile, or Margarita. Your choice. Okay. Número dos. ¿Qué lleva en la maleta? Chile, la familia, Margarita, o ropa de invierno. Okay. And then you would write down your choice. Write out your question. Write out your answer. When in doubt, write it out. <sighs> All right. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you let me know. Um, and I love you guys so much. And we're almost done with this unit. Oh my gosh. Um, and I totally forgot that period in between Chile and Margarita. <sighs> que triste, no? All right. All right. I love you guys so much. Oh, that is zoomed. All right. All right. Bye.